Welcome to the Maria Liberati Show. What does food mean to you? To me, an entree is only as good as its dessert. Let's go to the origins of one of Italy's finest desserts. During the Renaissance in Florence, Italy, several discoveries and innovations in art, architecture, sculpting, literature, the culinary arts, music, and so much more have origins dating to this time period. Many consider this an iconic time in human history. On the bustling streets of Florence, vibrant with life, Caterina de' Medici started a contest to see who could make the most delicious and unusual dessert. People of all ages and backgrounds gathered to get a glimpse of these eye-popping culinary creations. There was one in particular that shined above the rest, gelato. It was a hot summer's day in Florence. The air was muggy and the people were trying to find ways to stay cool. During these times, well, of course, air conditioning had not been invented yet, so people had to come up with creative ways to beat the heat staying in the shade and building houses made of stone walls to absorb the heat were popular solutions during this time period that's what made the gelato so revolutionary besides its phenomenal taste it was the perfect dessert to indulge in during a hot day a poultry butcher named ruggieri entered the competition with hopes that his creation would win the dish was icy and sugary and de medici loved the dessert she loved it so much that she even brought ruggieri to her wedding in paris for his contest winning creation to be served to her many guests by all accounts ruggieri's creation the gelato we have all come to know and love was a winner it was so well received that ruggieri was getting death threats ordering him to release the recipe the recipe was soon released and ruggieri happily got back to taking care of his chickens now that we know the origin and the history of gelato let's look at how to make the perfect gelato to beat the heat during the summer to make the perfect gelato, you'll need either an ice cream maker or a metal bowl and milk, cream, egg, sugar, and whatever extra flavors you want to add, such as fruit, nuts, chocolate, or other flavorings, a saucepan for heating the mixture, and a fine mesh strainer. So if you're using a metal bowl, you're going to have to freeze it about 24 hours prior to using it and also your ice cream maker bowl needs to have been in the freezer for at least 24 hours prior to using it to ensure that it's going to be cold enough to freeze the ice cream in a saucepan mix one cup of heavy cream with two cups of milk the higher milk to cream ratio is what differentiates gelato from ice cream and also makes it lower in fat Cook the milk and cream mixture until it begins to foam around the edges. Remove from heat. In a large bowl, mix a half a cup of sugar with four egg yolks until smooth. Slowly pour the warm milk mixture into the egg and sugar mixture and blend. Transfer this mixture back to the saucepan and cook until the mixture gels. Remove from heat and pour mixture through your strainer back into the large bowl and cool covered for several hours. When the mixture is cool, it is ready to be prepared according to your ice cream maker's instructions or frozen in your metal bowl that has been already left in the freezer for 24 hours prior. If you're adding extras like chocolate chunks or fruit, add these halfway through the freezing process. The gelato can be enjoyed immediately after the ice cream maker completes its cycle if you like the dessert a little softer. Otherwise, freeze it in a sealed container for at least two hours. Now, if you're using a metal bowl instead of an ice cream maker, you will have to take the mixture out of the freezer about every 45 minutes and stir it to be sure it doesn't get icy. Then place it back in the freezer, freeze it again for 45 minutes, take it out, stir it again until it has reached the desired consistency that you like. Do you have any favorite gelato recipes or photos of your favorite gelato desserts? 
hashtag a photo or a recipe the maria liberati show share it on social media and if we share your photo or your recipe during one of the segments one of the upcoming segments you'll get a copy of the basic art of italian cooking as a thank you thanks for listening to the maria liberati show what does food mean to you hashtag the marie liberati show with your answer posted on social media and you'll get a copy of the basic art of italian cooking book as a thank you now i'd like to thank my producer Britton roselle and my intern that is writing and editing for me this summer david hunt until next time peace love and pasta